the Widefield Camera 3 is going up here soon. What's so special about it? This will be the first camera on board Hubble that's able to observe all the way from the ultraviolet through the visible and red wavelengths of light and then on into the near infrared. Whitefield Camera 3, by, a, by being able to cover this whole span, can cover the entire history of how stars have been born and evolved and died in individual galaxies and then how the galaxies themselves have changed over time looking back all the way to 13 billion years ago. What are we going to see in those wavelengths, the ultraviolet and the infrared? If you want to understand the process of new stars coming into being, then you want to observe those galaxies in ultraviolet light because they put out so much light at those wavelengths. Then as stars age, what I call middle and middle age stars, and those tend to put out their light more in the yellow. And then as you get to older stars, they tend to put out more light in red. So if you want a, a family portrait of a, of a whole galaxy, then you have to be able to take pictures in all these different colors of light to bring out the different populations of stars. How does it work? We have two separate cameras inside the box. One is devoted to ultraviolet and visible light. The other is a near-infrared channel, and it has a pick-off mirror, which sits right out in the middle of the beam coming in from the telescope and picks off the light from that beam and sends it sideways into the camera. It goes through a shutter, it goes through a set of filters, and then from there it goes to the light sensing detectors. So it's sort of like sending a professional photographer with his camera bag full of filters and, and three different cameras. I got everything a photographer in photography heaven would want. And I have all of those on the Hubble Space Telescope. And an astronomer can, can image in any way he or she needs to image to do science. What's the most exciting thing for you about sending up Wide Field Camera 3? We want to do another ultra deep field. Hubble has now taken two ultra deep fields. The one in 1995 was taken with the Wide Field Planetary Camera 2, our first workhorse camera. The one in, in the early 2000s was taken with the Advanced Camera for Surveys, and it managed to look back farther. And we're going to go even deeper with Wide Field Camera 3.